and today we're going to be taking a look at the best editor. And by the best editor, I mean like kind of the best as of now when making the video. So huge thanks for Jubha Hey 64 for actually making the editor. Now what it is it is the new editor, but it fixes all those annoying bugs that I don't like, and it has a bunch of great new features that will help you a lot. So you're going to want to download the zip. And once that finishes, we'll just wait for it to finish. Okay, I'm just going to assume that finishes. And there we go. Like I couldn't see it if there's it's a recording thing there. But anyways, I'm going to extract it now. And you just kind of have to wait for it to extract. Mine's just doing a bit of a slow job. And here we go. Now what you really want is the spin folder. You can just kind of cut that out. And now we're going to go in the release. And here's the file that you're going to use. Oops. Then we're going to open our ROM right here. You can't drag it in, unfortunately. But you've never been able to do that in the first place. So I'm going to go into tutorial. And you're going to want to hit yes to make a backup just in case anything goes wrong. Now this will be, as of now, this editor is compatible with the new one, but not the old editor. So you can't use the edit, old editor after editing with this one. This has all the features of the new editor, but more. If I enter a level, say Bahalam Battlefield, you, I'm going to show some of the good advantages to this editor. Okay, let's say I select a random object here. Some In the other editor, you wouldn't know where to find it, but here, it'll just highlight it and you can go find it easy, easily. And it'll also kind of show you all the polygons in the object. Like, this right here is two polygons, but you may not have known that. So it's kind of interesting to just select things and look at all the different polygons and just click something like a random. Like, say, especially helpful for red coins if you forget where one is. They're like, oh, where's that red coin? I see the highlight over here. I'm like, oh, look at that. And you would never be able to tell that in the other editor. And another thing is they fixed the mouse wheel glitch or just put e, or what, what was it? Jupa hey, fixed the editor glitch where you couldn't move objects with the middle mouse. You can do that again now, which I love. And there's more, like this star marker. Like if everyone remembers that the star marker looks like that, but there will be star markers for actual spawning stars. The thing is, like, for those of who who don't know, star markers do spawn come from their current position and then go up higher. But it's good to know that you can know whether or not it's the right coin star or an actual star marker. It helps. And another thing that's been updated is paths. If I select a path, you can see all the nodes in the path. And you get a very clear picture of what the path looks like. 
So that's very helpful. I don't even know what this pack. Oh, it's for that one chain shop. See? You can select individual PAP nodes, of course, too. Now moving on to some other things, like like there should be something for invisible poles, I believe. Yeah, see, now you can see the invisible pole, like how big it is. Otherwise, before you would have no idea where the invisible hole is located or how big it is but now you can and now let's get into a very useful uh, feature which is the ability to visualize entrances now you can see that paintings will actually be correct so if I make this not C and zero, it'll actually have the correct rotation. That seems to have no effect. And you can rotate objects to be the correct direction and their corresponding uh, warps. For those of you who remember me placing warps, it was that what I had you do was place a painting like one of the, these for upside down, or like the painting, or uh, sorry, a regular painting for the ones that go this direction. And that was kind of dumb because you would never know exactly what the entrance looks like, but now you get a clear idea of what the entrance looks like no matter what. So it's also great. And yeah, you can also see the door exits. And so yeah, and let me get into another good feature. Let me go back in Bob on Battlefield here, and that is the ability to copy and paste coordinates. Like say uh, I'm placing uh, something here, like adding an object. I'm going to add a Goomba, and I want to have the exact same coordinates of this Goomba right here. I can hit copy coordinates and go in this and hit paste and they'll have the exact same coordinates. Although you still need to edit the rotation but the coordinates will be just fine. Now why this is helpful is because it really helps for things like path nodes when you're editing them and it also really helps for placing coins. See, to make a perfect coin, you would first have to place a coin and, and then I'd have to copy the coordinates and move all the other ones into perfect position. But now I can just copy the coordinates of this, paste all the coordinates to be the same. And then I can make my slight uh, changes or whatever. You want wrong direction? Nope, still wrong direction. It's... And just like that, that quickly I can make a group of coins where before it would take forever to take, make groups of coins but that just took me like 30 seconds so that's great and yeah it fixes all the other bugs that it has and it still has all the features I highly recommend that you use this editor and I think it's time to get rid of the old editor by now I mean it's been it's great but we have this new if you don't know how to use things like this new importer and stuff, 
please watch my video about using the new editor. It should be the same for this, like applying all the information and stuff. But I'll send a link to this editor in the description. And I'll see you all later.